child, I loved the sound of keys, the jangling noise they made together. But there was one set of keys whose sound I loved more than most. They belonged to my dad and had a distinctive sound made by the large copper coin on them. It was worn smooth and I think it came from his time in India as a British soldier. That noise would sound his arrival home and often that would mean comics or if it was Friday, a treat. I loved that sound. Sometimes something we take for granted in everyday life becomes a symbol of change and takes on a different meaning. I now fear the sound of keys and the pain and disappointment that not having them can bring. I recently spent eight weeks in the Doka Spoons prison and keys brought on a different reality for me. I became aware, very aware, of the noise they made on the officers' bells as they moved around the prison. That sound became particularly noticeable at the lock of time. The jangling and then the clink as they finally locked the door reminded you that you were on free and isolated. The back floor during the house had to be losing everything and no longer around the same keys. I once heard a man on the radio describe the loss he felt of not having his own keys as he was homeless. At the time it was something I had never given thought to as I had my home and I underestimated the importance of those keys. Not anymore. I now fear and long for keys, my own keys. I have spent months thinking about the importance of something so normal that we often throw them in our bags or down and often lose. I recently got a single key. It is the key to the door of my room in the place I call home at the moment. I have put a big red heart on it and it gives me a little piece in a life where change has become part of everyday life.